A DJI drone's about to be banned in the USA. Not because of a safety thing or an FAA ruling, but because of a patent claim made through the International Trade Commission. It's not impossible. The International Trade Commission is part of the US government which decides what can and can't be imported into the US according to regulations. And Autel Robotics, who are no strangers to suing DJI or being sued by DJI, have made a claim relating to patent number 9,260,184. And that, pat that has been upheld uh, initially by a single judge of the ITC and that claim gives DJI 60 days in which they have to post bond to carry on trading and importing their drones after which they could in theory be a ban. So what could possibly be so important as to ban the sales of DJI's drones? And what drones are we talking about? Well, we're talking about the important ones here. We're talking about the Mavic Pro series, the Mavic 2 series, and the Mavic Air. And Autel have also asked that the Inspire and Phantom 4 be included in that list, although that's not necessarily happened yet. What is uh, the pattern about? Well, it's about the way you clip on and clip off the propellers. Actually, let's just have a look. Here's a, a Mavic I happen to have. I can push down and remove. Um, and the patent specifically claims something about the way that the counter-rotating propellers are put on in a different way. Now, the thing about patents is they can be filed without actually being tested. I mean, that patent number is over 9 million, right? Now, not every one of those patents has gone through a rigorous testing procedure. They are filed and nobody looks at them too seriously until a company makes a claim. In a dramatic press release, possibly a bit too pleased with itself, Autel Robotics USA's lawyers, Steptoe, sadly for our British viewers, not Steptoe and Son, have clearly pointed out with enthusiasm the 60 day limit and the strength and importance of their claim. But is it as significant as all that? Well, certainly we're looking at some of DJI's leading consumer drones, so DJI definitely don't want an import ban slapped on them. But what will DJI do now? Well, they can sit out the 60 days um, posting their bond. Uh, yeah, bail. No, sorry, not a bail bond. <laughs> uh, but they do have to post a bond. Um, and at the end of that, they can file an appeal and while the appeal's filed they can carry on importing and the appeal can take some time. What will probably happen as part of the appeal is that the patent will actually get examined. You might think when you send off a patent to the US Patent Office that somebody has a good look and checks to see whether that thing can reasonably be a patent or not. But in practice that's a lot of work. <clears throat> So instead, they just get filed, and then if anything tricky or contentious comes up, then the court will have a look. So we don't really know for sure yet where the patent number 9,260,184 is significant, is considered a genuine invention by Autel. Um, and that will take some time and is quite an expensive court process, so that's something that may then happen. Even if Autel get their way and claim that whatever it is they've invented about screwing on and off the propellers on contra-rotating propeller aircraft, then what normally happens in this sort of scenario, almost always, is that the company then agrees a price, DJI will pay a little bit of money. There was one case in living memory where the president, um, because uh, theoretically what happens in the next 60 days is part of the president's office, um, can intervene, um, almost never does, but has, did do once to help Apple out in uh, Apple versus Samsung. And we don't quite know whether the president will do anything this time. Certainly he's not exactly a favor in favor of China. 
So Autel Robotics USA's claim against evil Chinese drone company DJI might get somewhere. Of course, Autel is also a Shenzhen-based company, um, but that's another matter. In fact, another interesting thing about Autel and DJI's Shenzhen rivalry uh, has it has been playing out in US courts for quite some time since uh, 2016 when DJI filed a claim about Autel's striking similarity to their Phantom. Following that, um, there have been a number of other cases, including the uh, antitrust case in which Autel suggested that DJI were selling their drones for less than it cost them to make. It turned out that the maths they'd used to work that out was a little bit questionable, but Technically, that would have been against the law in the US, uh, antitrust as trying to prevent other companies from starting up. Now, we all might have our own views on that. It certainly does seem like DJI are doing very well and holding a lot of a growing market. And is that because their products are genuinely better or is it because they make it very hard for other companies to get started? DJI are not short of patents of their own and they can certainly make patent actions and, and make life very difficult for small companies. Autel are relatively small and they can definitely feel a bit upset and I imagine they felt a bit aggrieved uh, about having their almost identical to Phantom device taken to court in the first place. So this sort of thing rumbles on and in practice it's very unlikely to have a serious effect and the result of the antitrust case was that Autel's maths was a bit off and DJI do make a profit on their drones, which isn't that much of a surprise to all of us who've paid the price for them. So, do you need to worry about buying a DJI drone right now? Are they suddenly going to be illegal to import them into the USA? Almost certainly not. It's in no one's interest for that to happen, except maybe Autel. But it seems likely that Autel will be much happier with an outcome where they go to the patent court and if they're lucky they get their patent upheld following DJI's appeal um, and then they get to come up with a charge and agree a rate and basically get a little bit of money from DJI for every drone that has been sold that infringes the, pap uh, the patent. The bad outcome for Autel is that they go to the higher court, spend a lot more money on law, lawyers, and still lose, then they... Uh, I'll tell you what, though, I'd be genuinely interested to hear what you guys think about the case, if you've read anything about it, whether you think that it's even reasonable to have a patent on how you clip in and out propellers, and whether you think Autel ought to win, whether DJI are anti-competitive. I'd also be interested to know if this in any way puts you off buying a DJI drone. If it does, I've reviewed alternatives as well recently, uh, the PowerEgg X and the Anafi, for example. Please do comment, and I'd love it if you subscribed if you don't already. Uh, there's a subscription button floating around somewhere, and you know I get a little notification on my phone every time I get a subscriber. I'm not a massive influencer, so those things make me happy and cheerful. So much appreciated if you do. Thanks very much.